Oh. Hey guys, it's me, Jaddy168. I'm tired. <clears throat> but. I have a question. Does. A hundred percent. True. Pure love. Really exist. Um. I don't think it does. I, I don't think it does. Because I was. I was having a conversation. And then I started like evaluating like certain relationships that I've been with, people that I know, people that I care about. And it's just like does a hundred percent pure love really exist? Because I think everyone has their limitations on how far their love really goes. Maybe there's some people who choose not to put limits on it, but for me, I think I have limitations on my love for any person. Like, okay, let's say for instance, parents who have gay children and they abandon their kids and they choose not to be a part of their kid's life just because of a little aspect of what their child is because it doesn't make up the whole person and a lot of people be like oh because of my religion blase 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 i still love my child unconditionally but it's just like then you really don't because your religion puts a a limit on the love that you have for your child and it's just like, how can you truly say that you unconditionally love your child, but you want nothing to do with them because they're gay? So that's not 100% love because you're not choosing to respect the fact that this is how your child is. M maybe it's just me. Because if you love somebody unconditionally, you take them with flaws and all if you see being homosexual as a flaw um I'm just saying how can you love someone unconditionally and then just shut them out just because of something that you disagree with like if you love this person unconditionally it doesn't matter who it is and there's something that they do or say and you really don't agree with it can't you just be like, well, I don't agree with that. State your case on why you don't agree with it. And move on. And then just agree to disagree. Or, like, let's say you're with someone and you're supposed to be with, like, if let's say you're married and you all of a sudden find out that he or she is addicted to a certain type of drug and you just well, I want a divorce now, I don't want to be with you because, you know, you shoot up heroin and I don't agree with that, opposed to being like, asking them, oh, do you want to be a junkie? Do you want me to help you? I'll help you, you know, and trying to find out ways to help the person. And then if you get to a certain point where you're just like, well, I can't help you anymore because you're not helping me help you or you don't really want my help, then be like, I still love you, but... I love you enough so, to the point where I can't watch you do this to yourself. Opposed to just shutting the person away and just throwing them out. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that pure love, 100% pure love, no judgments and no limitations or biasness on anything for a person, do you think it really truly exist because I don't think it does I I don't that's just me because there's there's limitations to 
how hard I would love on somebody. Because there's things that I'm not, no matter how much I love you, if there is something that I just really can't put up with, I'm not going to keep you around. Like infidelity, that's something that I can't bear. That's something my heart can't bear. Lies, I can't stand lies because little white lies turn into a big lie. And let's say my husband so happens to cheat on me and not only did he cheat on me, he has a child with whom he cheated with. I can't put up with that either. Because it's just like, if I'm showing you that I'm loving you and I'm faithful to you and I'm being true to you, I can't step out on you. You understand? But there is a limit to what I will take. I will not let you abuse the love I have for you. There, there I go. There, I think that's what it is. I will not let you abuse, abuse the love I have for you. I won't. Because it's not fair because then you're not taking my feelings and me into consideration. And if I do it to you, then I'm not taking you into consideration either. So let me know what you guys think. I've been thinking about that a lot. And um, yeah, I'll leave that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.